Yo, well going. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Ample Guitar 2 to um, your computer so that you can use it in FL Studio. Now, I will be showing you how to install the free version because that's the version that I just grabbed. Honestly, this is not my recording day, but I did try to download this a while ago and it just wouldn't work for me i tried to download it on my laptop i couldn't get up in fl studio so i just thought it was a lost cause i downloaded it from the ample sound website and it didn't work and then i downloaded it from a plugin boutique today on my uh, main computer and it still didn't work until i finally figured out how to actually do it so i'm going to show you exactly what steps you have to go through in order to get it to show up in fl studio so that you can use it and start making those flavorful guitar beats now before we get into the video if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online marketing and online business this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be a starving artist or don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you be sure to stick around hit that subscribe button turn on notifications check out the rest of the content on the channel you'll love it uh basically before we get into the uh video if you want to get 10 free loops that you can use in your music production go to jcarteray.com forward slash free loops i'll also be releasing a loop kit with uh, guitar samples and guitar loops so if that's something you're interested in that will be linked in the description down below as well so definitely check that out it'll probably be in the pinned comment as well but let's get into the video now so first of all I suggest you just grab this from um, Plugin Boutique. It's free on Plugin Boutique. You can grab uh, a Ample Guitar M Lite 2, just type it in on Plugin Boutique, or you can get it from the Ample Sound website. I will leave the Plugin Boutique link in the description so you can just grab it. And then basically, you want to follow the install wizard. So when you actually get it, you will get a. Let's bring up my downloads. You will get a zip file and then you'll export that zip file go to extract here and then you'll get exe file when you actually double click on that exe file you will get this popping up so you need to accept the agreement and all that sort of stuff you know you probably didn't read it but accept it hopefully they're not going to take your organs or anything but accept the agreement choose where you want to install the plugin choose where you want to install the samples all that sort of stuff click next keep it moving now this generally goes through pretty you know pretty standardly like you do with any sort of installer the big problem though that happened with me is it told me that i had the wrong i think it's microsoft visual microsoft visual something it's like v plus plus or c plus plus whatever it said i had the wrong thing because i had an updated version because my computer is newer than whatever they expected you to use when you're installing this now that doesn't matter too much you can just press next and keep on going and that won't affect your install when i saw that i thought that was the thing that was affecting my install it's not so don't worry about that just keep it moving click next and then you know the thing will be installed on your computer but you still won't be able to open it in fl studio in order to fix that problem you need to do some finagling <laughs> you need to copy and paste and i'm going to show you where you need to go in order to get the right uh, file to copy and you can basically paste it wherever your vsts that you use for fl studio are so wherever you store that so you want to go into like your local disk or wherever your program files are double click in there go to your program files and then in here you'll see ample sound go to that and then what you want to actually copy is the dll files these are the actual files that fl studio uses to basically use the plugins use the vsts that you you've installed so these are the files that you want what you can do here is you can go into fl studio and set up set up so that it actually scans the program files folder but i personally wouldn't do that i've got my own folder with like the vsts that i use in there so this is the folder that i generally use it says vsts and i've got some vsts in there so what i did was i just copied 
these two files from Ample Sound and I pasted it in here in my VST folder. Then if you don't know how to do this, I'm gonna show you how to do it now. In order to actually get the plugin to show up in FL Studio like this, you need to go to options, then manage plugins. I have a whole video on this if you want me to get in depth and, and give you more time to actually learn how to do this. But basically you go into this, the plugin manager, and hopefully you've set up your VST folder in here already. If you haven't, then you'll need to do that. Set up your, like you go in here and you, um, you can set up different paths here you basically press this button and you put it basically you know press that and you'd be like okay this is where this is where all my vsts are search this folder please and then you click ok and then you go to find plugins and after you do that it will search through the folders that you've selected and then hopefully you will see the ample guitar plugin in orange so it's easy for you to visually see it and then you want to click the stars so it favorites that plugin and what that will do is now when you go to your channel rack and you go to add a plugin it will actually show up here so now you can see i've got ample guitar m2 light and agm l2 which i believe is normal ample guitar but it's the trial version i haven't actually checked it out yet because obviously you know if they give you the trial version then you can try that out and then they'll be like okay now now buy the thing in so that is how you get ample guitar light in your FL Studio session, or it's probably this, this will probably work for all their guitars. So I'm assuming they use the same process for all their guitars. They've got the same V plus plus thing that pops up and gets you worried, and you need to cop copy over the DLL files for pretty much everything. So that's how it's done. This is how you install Ample guitars into your FL Studio 20 so that you can actually use these guitars and create some, you know, nice guitar beats. Let me, that probably sounds terrible, but you know, now I can actually make terrible acoustic sounding guitar beats. Um, but if you want, you know, great acoustic sounding guitars or not acoustic sounding guitars, but great guitar loops, remember link will be in the description to my guitar loop kit. And if you want 10 free loops, go to jcartaray.com forward slash free loops. Grab those. I hope this video helped you out because I, I needed to film it now so that I didn't forget how to do this and so that I can put this out there because this was such a problem for me. I thought that this plugin just didn't work and somehow other people did some magic to get it done and they were like sacrificing goats to the devil and all that sort of wildness. But no, you just need to copy some files and that's how you get up and running. Question of the day is what guitar VSTs do you use or what guitar VSTs are you thinking of getting? Let me know in the comment section down below. It'd be really interesting to kind of get a feel for the different VSTs out there, different VSTs that are good, maybe different VSTs are, that are bad. Let me know your opinions on them. That would be great. It'll really help out the community and whatnot. So definitely leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music production, online marketing and online business. Peace out.